We just found out that our code from Tommy John, which is where we get our favorite loungewear, is worth 30% off, which is the biggest discount of the season. If you have been around here for any length of time, you know that that's all Deb wears. She comes in every night, puts on her Tommy John pieces and um, relaxes for the night. I wanna share a few of our favorites. This one is the Zen ribbed long crew neck shirt and the Zen ribbed joggers. This is the one that Deb loves, absolutely loves. <laughs> I'm telling you, ever since I had a piece of Tommy John, every night I look forward to crawling into these. Comfortable and they wash up so nice. They are so comfortable, like she says, there's no uh, pinching, no binding, no wedgies. They're so soft. They are so soft. And when, you, when I put mine on, I always feel like they're kind of cooling. Do you? They're yes. like... This is one of their newer styles. I love this. This is a sweater. Um, it's called a Sweater Lounge Henley. It's got the three buttons up top here, um, and I got the pants to match it. They come in several different colors as well. As you may have noticed, they have lots of different colors to choose from. This one is the Zen Waffle Set. I have this one as well. And then they also carry bras and underwear that are some of the softest fabric. You don't even feel like you're wearing them. Um, and then the underwear come in lots of different styles too. I am telling you, Tommy John is the best, the best loungewear ever. I'm going to put my link here again, tap through it, use code Deb and Danelle 30 for 30% 30 off for only 72 hours. And again, it's the biggest uh, discount of the season. So stock up or try it if you want great Christmas gift ideas too. Please help you get over the song. Fast forward. Okay, morning announcements in the afternoon. We have a very busy day. Well, I should say very busy weekend. Um, we have to get, so next week, the, the electrician and the plumber are supposed to be here, which means we have to, uh, take down all of these lights. Deb's looking so forward to that. It's not about taking them down. It's about being in the dark for a month. We'll have to stop by the storage unit and get some lamps. Yeah. Speaking of storage units, we have to go empty those little ones because um, the bathtub is in there, the shower doors are in there, so that all has to be done. That's going to be a couple different trips too. What do you mean? The shower door is going to probably be a trip on its own. Um, so we got to do that. Um, and then all we have after the plumber electrician is we have to have the trimmers come and put up the exterior doors and the house cleaners. And then the floor needs another coat. Then it's move time. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm gonna share the range hood today. Um, later on tonight, there's guys there now, so we wanna get it cleaned up a little bit, but Deb's got it done. It's not painted. Painters are going to do that, I think, on Monday. Um, they're also almost done, aren't they? Yes, they should be done on Monday. They should. They, I think they have one more day, yeah, and that's back to touch ups, but. yeah, that's Monday. Um, I'm going to run in town and get my print. I'm going to put my newsletter link here. You guys are going to want to sign up because you you're going to get a free download, and it's really pretty. I'm going to show you what it is whenever I get back. Also, I just checked, um, look how good this mascara is. This is the Better Than Sex. You can still get this four tubes for $39. Obviously, this is with, without stocking stuffers. Excellent idea. And I forgot our speakers are going to be put in the week after next. And then they finish up after that. I'm already making a playlist with all the good songs I'm gonna play on it. Um, welcome, come one, come all to our storage unit. Take all. Take anything you want. <laughs> We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. What are you here for again? Lamps, and I need a picture frame. But we are almost ready to like empty this and be done. 
this is part of our part of our chapter of part a chapter of our life that's going to be done um this is what i was wondering for the pantry dub thinking about putting a um piece of furniture it not the food side in the appliance pantry so we would have like a little work work area here and then have like shelves all up here and this is the one i was thinking but we have to measure it this was going to be used as a vanity um with double sinks but it is not deep enough so we ended up um not using it have a box of what we're we're in here too not only getting um lamps for the cottage so we can see um a picture frame for that print but we know that we've got lights in our storage unit and we have these i don't know i don't know if we're going to use them but we have these little sconces that used to be in our old house We're almost done. We're gonna take that home. I have these two things and this chair and we're gonna take that home and then we just have a few things in there. So we're one down, two to go. And this will be done hopefully this weekend. Those, that is our bathtub and that's the shower door. So all that needs to go. I have the best treat for you. Catalina Crunch cookies and their snack mixes are so delicious. I like to eat the sides off first and then eat the creamy middle section last. Anyways, I've got a code. They renewed it for me. DND &D will get you 15% off. I'm going to put my link here. So tap through that and use my code. But I want to share um, my favorites. I stumbled upon Catalina Crunch items when I was searching online for gluten-free snack ideas. Um, they are so delicious. They have the classic chocolate vanilla, which reminds me of my childhood. They have the peanut butter sandwich cookies, chocolate mint, and the vanilla cream. Those are the stats for two cookies, which as you can see, there are four grams of protein, three grams of fiber, and two grams of sugar per two cookies. And they also have um, really, really good snack mix as well. Catalina Crunch cookies contain no artificial sweeteners or flavors. And if I were you, I'd grab the variety box because you can try all four flavors. They are so delicious. I'm going to put my link here again. Tap through it. Use code DND for 15% off. I posted on the feed the range hood. I think you're going to like it. So go check it out. I shared a little uh, while ago from the storage unit that we were thinking about putting that, I'm talking, I'm, I'm doing a story, um, putting that piece of furniture in here. So we need to see, we need to measure that and see if it's going to work. It would fit in here, so it would be like a piece of furniture here, and then we'd have all the shelves and stuff up there. It would give us drawers and two doors, um, and then we would, do something down here i told deb do we is it something that we we want to like have this is all shelves and just basic or do we want to do something a little bit <laughs> extra <laughs> extra this one will have regular shelves that will hold all the food so this one will just be filled with shelves Again, this one is going to be for kitchen appliances. So, 
toasters, air fryers, that kind of stuff in here. So it's not like we have a million things that we're gonna put in there. That's why we thought a piece of furniture in here would be really cool. Okay, well, we are done for the day. <laughs> So we're not going to get the homies to our recipe done. We promise we will do it this weekend sometime. We have just been so busy, busy and just ugh, a lot. Tina just got hers up. I'm going to um, share that next. She did a reel. It is so cute. She made a little cheese ball and it's in the shape of like a turkey for um, the holidays. So I'm going to share that next. Wait till you see this super cute thing. I'm using a store-bought cheese ball. You can make your own if you'd like. Pretzel sticks, eyes, candy corn, a little bit of chocolate. We're gonna adhere the eyes. Tomorrow I will give you a close-up of the range hood. Um, and then I will share everything tomorrow that I was going to share today. And I'm gonna do a clear coat on all three wooden mantles. And I think I'm gonna paint the one in the kitchen and get that done. And then Deb is going to work on the shelves beside the range hood. All right, what else are you gonna do? Oh, the basement. Oh, um, she wants to clean the basement floor because the painters are gonna be done on Monday and then we can put that floor down.